moving reckless. I snatch you right out your Lexus. I'm moving blocks like it's Tetris. A hundred thousand by breakfast. Yeah. Praying the Lord. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Stat Baby, along with your host Cam and Mace. Uh, How are you, y'all? Love, yeah. love, 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 love good, it. good. Okay, we are in the middle of the NBA playoffs, and already Draymond Green got suspended for one game. During game two, Draymond stomped on King center Sabonis. The Warriors lost that game to the Kings by eight points. This is the first time since 2007 the Warriors are 0 and 2 in the playoffs. Steve Kerr commented about Draymond's suspension, saying, "We don't have a single championship here without Draymond Green. That's the truth." We will go to bat for Draymond and go to battle with him every day of the week. What are your thoughts? I agree with Steve Kerr. I mean, you need Draymond Green. Um, yeah. You need you need players who are going to get gritty, who's going to get dirty, who's going to get down. Draymond uh, gets a bad rap a lot of times, yeah. but I don't think you, he's right. You don't get those championships. He's Bill Cartwright. Yeah. I mean, Luke Longley. Yeah. He, let me ask you this because I get a, I get to a lot of arguments with niggas. Because niggas, you know, to me, Draymond's underappreciated by yeah. a lot of people. And, you know, I'd be like, Dennis Rodman couldn't bring the ball up. Ball, yeah. The ball up. And they're like, come on, Kim, don't be starting to yeah. compare yeah. Uh, Dennis Rodman to Draymond or, or Charles Barkley. I wouldn't compare him to Charles Barkley or Carl Malone. Definitely not. But other power forwards, I think that he's super good. He mm-hmm. has the most triple doubles in Golden State history. Wow. You know, and a lot of, a lot of people went, play that for Golden, Golden State. Right. So he's the triple double leader yeah. of a franchise. And mm-hmm. I just think that all they look at is all the gritty stuff. Last year when they played Boston in the championship, yeah, uh, there's down 0-1, tied up 1-1, and the Draymond said, let me get to work. He he snatched Jalen Brown's neck. Yeah. He pushed Tatum on the floor. Whoever mm-hmm. else has a problem, uh-oh, y'all are in the way of this championship. Then he went and got it. Then he went and got it. So I think this is just what Draymond does in the playoffs. I think it was a little excessive because it looked like he stomped on a nigga, yeah. Yeah. which he did, but homeboy grabbed his leg. Homeboy might have been He grabbed smart. his foot. Homeboy might have lined him. Yeah, he, he might, might have lined him. Like, oh, he, did, did. he did, he did. Because I was thinking about it. I don't think he did nothing wrong. Like, yeah. if he grabbed his ankle, just think, if he would have twisted it the wrong way, he could have tore mm-hmm. his ankle. That's and a fact. So you can't grab my ankle and put me in a figure four and expect me mm-hmm. to just let you do that. Yeah, I mean, and then after the game, he was too cool with it yeah. getting stomped out. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no problem with it. <laughs> they know my, you know, it's part of the playoff. Stomp me in my chest. I'm at the locker room, my nigga. <laughs> You ever stop me in my chest? I don't get the nigga outside the bus, the locker room. Feet on me, feet, hands, pistols on you. And always, don't ever put your feet on me, my nigga. Foot, yeah. sock, barefoot, don't touch me with your feet. Yeah, but on another note, what if, what if, just, just hypothetically thinking, what if this is the way Golden State is setting Draymond up to move him out. They had those rumors before I about trading about Draymond that. and shit, but because he just he punched he punched Pool, yeah, and now he's do this right here. If they don't win, it's almost like he gave them an out to blame it on him. Right. That's the only thing I'm thinking outside of that. What I will say is this, man. Andrew Wiggins and John Poole, y'all got that fucking money. I ain't seen y'all all season. Yeah. Said, this a, that, where's the Jordan Poole from last year? That Jordan <laughs> that Where's that nigga? You doing Ice Spice. Wow. He's, he's a munch now. He oh. fuck with Ice Spice? Yeah. Oh, this nigga, man. You a munch? Hey, yo, talking about you that Wait. serious, mother, all jokes aside? Now, that's it. I didn't know that. You did it worth everything. <laughs> I'm not throwing this business out there. You ain't heard it from me. A little birdie. You are much. You caught, like, and, and another thing you NBA niggas got to realize is this, man. <laughs> they oh. know when you get the bag. <laughs> they know you got a fresh 130 million, nigga, 140 million, whatever it was. And to be honest with you, I think you deserve the money, but you really got that on a sympathy. Because the niggas over at Golden State was like, damn, what we going to do now? We had some time to renegotiate. Draymond done knocked this nigga out. Yeah. Which, you know, I don't support that because they And teammates. that's just a rumor, but they say, you know, he took yeah. on a Just to add to spray. that, he did spend half a million on a date with Ice Spice, so. Half a million dollars. <laughs> that's the whole thing in itself. <laughs> where's your big bros at, yo, yo, where? Hey, yo, yo all, wow. all my niggas in Milwaukee, because that's where. Even Milwaukee? Yeah, yo. 
Talk to talk to pool. A half a million dollars on a date, which I ain't knocking. Shout out to Ice Spice. Bronx get the money. Bronx get, <laughs> Bronx the, get money. the money, nigga. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> but God damn, man. I want city girls up 200. Right? City, city girls, girls up 200, 200, man. That's crazy, man. He, I didn't know that. He could have built a whole new projects in, in Milwaukee with that That's money. That's a fact. But do you know, did you hear the rumors of why he allegedly got snuffed by Draymond? What, what he said to Draymond leading up to that? What? No. What they said. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it was a three-day process. The first day, he said some shit about, you know, Draymond went to Michigan State and he went to Michigan. And he said, I get more bitches than you in Michigan State and I'm a Michigan nigga. Ooh. That was that. And then he said, Draymond was working out. And he's like, I don't know why you working out so hard. You're going to be in Sacramento next year anyway. That's the setup. <laughs> that, then the, That's third, the, setup. the third day, I can't, you know, I had this pressure. <laughs> I can't remember what it was the third day. But it was something else, three things that Draymond said, all right, you playing with me, right? Yeah. And knocked the nigga out. But also what he I- He went out? I don't know. They cut the video short. Yeah, his, his le- I tell you this, his legs buckled. <laughs> <laughs> his legs definitely <laughs> buckled. Them legs buckled. <laughs> he but needed a 10 second? They, they he needed them. a 10 second? But what I was listening to, and I was listening to Kevin Garnett talk one time, and yeah. he said, you know, that was the that was a training camp for the year after Golden State won the championship. Yeah. Kevin Garnett was like, what happens is you win a championship, you come back to training camp, then young niggas think they all that. And sometimes yeah. you got to put niggas, you know how KG yeah. talk, and sometimes you got to put niggas in their place. <laughs> Them niggas come back thinking they helped you win the championship. Yeah. And, and sometimes they got to get punched in their face. I was like, okay, because when I watched that shit, when Draymond snuffed them, niggas Stephen Clay said, I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I ain't seen a damn thing. I just yeah. see niggas talking, they get capped. That's the time they yeah. got get capped. Yeah, he look like he won no action. Watch that video again. Whenever you get a chance out there, watch that video again and watch Steph Curry reaction and Clay Thompson reaction. That's Them niggas, crazy. they ain't give a fuck. So wow. well, that's what I... Okay. So also on the topic of NBA players, Dylan yeah. Brooks is at it again. After the Grizzlies beat the Lakers in game two, Brooks was asked about LeBron. He stopped the LeBron talk and said, quote, I don't care. He's old. He also said, I poke bears. I don't respect anyone until they he come. He poked bears. He said, hey, he said he pokes that's bears. That's crazy. He that, said, that's bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know nothing about it. He got Animal that. Animal <laughs> <laughs> He did wild, say I poke bro. bears. I don't know why that was the first thought that came to his yeah, mind, but he said it. Quote, yeah, then he said, I don't respect anyone until they come and give me 40. Brooks did score 12 points that game, and they beat the Lakers by 10 points. However, a tweet he made in 2012 resurfaced when he said, All man's LeBron is the best player in the NBA. There's a lot of switching up. Yeah. Well, I will say this. This is what I will say. I like his attitude, though. I can't get mad at what I will say is this. In 2012, LeBron was the best player in yeah. the NBA. Yeah. That was 11 years ago. So what he tweeted wasn't wrong. Do you think LeBron's the best player in the NBA today? In 2012? Well, do you think he's the best player in 2012? No. Who was the best player in 2012? Kobe. I go with that. All right. All right, I go with that. I'm not mad at that answer, and I'm not arguing about it. Okay. okay I'm not arguing and about now, it. Now, what's your next question? The next question I was going to ask you was, um, should you do me off? Is he the best player right now? Yes, yeah, that's right. Absolutely not. Okay. Who's the best player right now? Um, healthy or unhealthy? All healthy. Everything. All healthy. healthy um, Giannis. Okay. I'm going with Kevin Durant. Oh, healthy. Kevin Durant, yeah. Yeah, when Kevin Durant's healthy, I don't go against Kevin Durant. But um, Good answers. As far as back to Dylan Brooks, yo, my nigga, you causing a scene. I see what you're doing. You're trying to be baby <laughs> Draymond. Shout out to my man, Bamani Jones, too. I was on Bamani Jones' show, and we was talking about- You think about, he's baby Draymond? I think he's a giant um, Pat Beverly. He's a giant. But see, the thing about it is this. No, the thing about it is this, right? What Pat Beverly, Draymond are known for defense. Yeah. Right? He's just known for uh, I don't know what he knows. That's why I said yeah. that. I don't, yeah. I don't got him getting points and getting you but know, what I'm getting saying is crazy. Pat, but what he does he really or deep what is what I'm trying to say is like He's just annoying. I don't really think he's a defensive <laughs> yeah, specialist. Yeah, I can't even give him Pat Beverly. Yeah, I can't like even shout give out him to Pat. my man Shady McCoy. I was watching him uh, yeah. earlier, and he made a great point when I was looking at it. 
He's not all defensive on anything. He ain't made no defensive thing. He ain't defensive player. What is he known for but an irking people? That may be a new title. Yeah. Just he, the irk he, niggas. Yeah. He he's he's giving me um what's the Matt Barnes. What? Yeah, yeah, Matt Barnes. I like Matt Barnes. I Matt, like Matt Barnes. Nah, he's he's, Matt Barnes he's, he's not as good as <laughs> Matt Barnes. Nah. I'm saying, I'm saying irritating. Irritating. People. Yeah. Got you, got you. But no disrespect, Matt Barnes. Yeah, I fuck we, with Matt. We shout out to Matt. Yeah, you know Matt driving a nigga house in the middle yeah. of the night. Nigga. <laughs> Matt will come to the church. <laughs> yeah. Matt come to y'all. Shout out to Derek Fisher, too, nigga. <laughs> nigga, Matt put hands and feet on My Derek bad, Fisher. Matt. Yeah, we don't want no static, nigga. Matt will drive to the church. He ain't got time for Matt. But I just think Dylan Brooks yeah. is annoying. I think he does this purposely. I think that he sees that he's yeah. annoying people. Because I don't give a fuck about the nigga, to be honest with you. <laughs> 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 but, but, um, oh, but seriously, as far as Dylan Brooks is concerned, <laughs> he's annoying. I don't know, you know exactly what his specialty is, but what I will say is that he's needed. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the player that, that comes to mind when I think of him. Was it Chris Livingston on the Bulls that just foul everybody and Bill Lambeer? Bill, Bill Lambeer, Lambeer, definitely. You know, just want to fight. I can't give him Bill Lambeer. You know, you, know, you can't give him you Bill You ain't going to even give him Bill Lambeer. Come on, Bill, Bill Lambeer is Bill. important. <laughs> Bill Lambeer, Bill Paws is that form. And Bill got them championships. <laughs> yeah, my thing, right. is, my yeah. thing is with Dylan Brooks, he got some time. I think he's been in the league for a little while. He got some time to... Prove yourself, but yeah. you can't say LeBron is only. He still. First of all, LeBron is old, but he busting ass. Right. He kissing <laughs> ass. He just passed Lou Alcindor, aka Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, yeah. for most points ever in the NBA. And niggas say he ain't a killer. Yeah. Right. Nah, come on, LeBron is good, man. You know what? What I will say is this: you better be careful because he might sick his son on you. Yeah. In a couple mm. years, he might put his son on mm -hmm. your on your head top. Pause. Really? Telling you right now, be careful, but you got no right talking about LeBron. Okay. So you guys think he's wrong for disre disrespecting LeBron James? I think he's doing that because it's the playoffs and that's mm -hmm. what niggas yeah. do. Mm -hmm. He's wrong, but he's right. Yeah, he's okay. supposed to do it. Yo, okay. It's supposed to be competition. It's, you know. people, it's for people like us to say, you out your fucking mind. Right. <laughs> but he's supposed to do that. I'm yeah. not mad at him for doing that. Yeah, you can't be mad at him saying, prove it. Prove right. it to me. Right. I can't go by what you did to right. somebody else. But what I will say is this, that... They won that game without John Morant. Mm -hmm. They won that they game. Looked, they looked actually better without Ja. You know the what? The ball was flowing. And, and I love Ja. But yeah, this, I love Ja. This. But you know what? They had a better record last year without Ja. Ja mm -hmm. Morant missed a lot of games last year. Mm -hmm. They had a better record last year without Ja Morant with all the games he missed. Yeah. So that's something to think about. Do you think about... What do you think niggas in the locker room like, man, I need John. And then when John comes in, like, yo, John, what's up? John, nigga? what's up? What's up? Nigga, yeah. If I tell you this much, if John don't play the next game and they win, that's yeah. something to think about. That's something to think, something about. To think about. And and it goes with the whole imagery of how people create narratives around you. Mm -hmm. Once people think you're wow. Then I remember he got the ball and he jumped up like he was about to dunk and he fell over and hit his hand. Yeah. And I was thinking, once you think of a person like out of control, now mm -hmm. it look like he's just wow. And I mm -hmm. was like, wow, that's how they're trying to paint it right now. So you're trying to say he's on the way to trying to be like Russell Westbrook type? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if if he doesn't play well, it's a it's a it's a way that the league start working you into a bad spot. Do you think they did that to Russell Westbrook? Yes. So you saying the league put Russell Westbrook in yeah, a bad spot? Yeah, it's side. like they it's like the league works you out of the league. Like everybody know Gilbert could have kept kept playing, but he was worked out of the league. Everybody know, you know, our guest today right. could right. be still playing, but right. it's like they put you on this little two three year thing where they're walking you John out. Wall? John Wall. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think I agree with you 100% because it's a lot of players. You'd be like, yo, where he at? Yeah, like, There's no good He's better party. than him. Right. right. He's better than him. Right. Like Melo. It's like, oh, yeah, he's older, but Melo is better than him. Right. Exactly. Agreed. Okay. I, think, I think three people that you said that 
that should be in the NBA no matter because of their age or not. I still see them killing Joe Johnson, yeah, Carmelo Anthony, and mm -hmm. Jamal Crawford. It's still three exactly. people that can still play. I don't care yeah. if you say they're 41, 42. You put Jamal Crawford in the yeah. night, somebody's legs is falling asleep. I saw the way they was passing the ball around. I'm like, hmm. they needed Nate. They needed Nate, I mean, um, Isaiah Thomas right here at the top of that key. Mm -hmm. Right. And where's Isaiah Thomas at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did Isaiah Thomas wow. dirty, man. They did him fucked up. That kid came. Danny Ainge, you a foul nigga for that shit, Danny Your man Ainge. did that. Who that? Who did it? Braun did no, that. No, 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 no. First of all, Danny Ainge did that. <laughs> Danny Ainge did that shit. Danny Ainge. They, Cleveland was, they, Boston was in the playoffs. That man hit was fucked up. Pause. That nigga sister died. He went home to his sister. I don't know if the funeral. He went back to Seattle. Yeah. Check on his sister. Came back to play in the playoffs with a fucked up hit because he he was the leading scorer for Boston at yeah. the time. And then after that, they trade him for Kyrie. You know, that, that go to show, don't put your faith in them organizations because when yeah. they're done with you, they're done with you. Yeah. Ask Pat Riley and Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. Ask UD. UD is my man too. I think UD, even though it's up to UD, I don't know, you know, that's my nigga. But they could have put him in the front office by now. Yeah. You mm -hmm. keep putting that man in the uniform, even though he caught a dunk the other day and yeah, all type of shit. Crazy. Give that man the fucking job. He's been loyal to that franchise, hmm. man. Yeah, they gave one to Juwan Howard. They definitely got to take care of him because he's hometown. Hmm. Right. Well, both good points on that note. We'll be right back. Coldest thing about is toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know What's happening me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Somebody told me the rules. Disagreements let her win, and it's cool.